Okay, I'm here at the garden tomb, and I'm actually right up here by the tomb. I'm holding my camera by myself. But can I just sit on the steps of outside the tomb for just a moment and share with you a little bit? The tomb is empty. Don't worry. Jesus isn't in there. He rose like he said he would. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For he sent not his Son in the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. Jesus said, I come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. You know, Jesus said, you can tear down this temple, but in three days I'll, I'll lift it up. They thought he was crazy because they thought he meant the temple, the Herod's temple took 46 years to build. He was talking about the, his body, the temple. Power of the resurrection. You know, when we baptize people, we do in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ that he raised from the dead. He is alive, the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he came out of this tomb. He, he didn't crawl out. He came out with power and glory. Just amazing to bring life to humanity, to give joy, to where there was defeat, to give victory, where there was despair, to give hope, where there was sickness, to give healing. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. He loves you so much. The Garden Tomb.